Uh, howdy and uh, welcome to my fifth tutorial if I'm not mistaken Today I'll be teaching you about soft bodies. Yay, you can make your own jellos Okay, so no time to be stalling. I've got 10 minutes Okay, so add a plane This one really has to be a plane if not uh, things won't go as uh, easy as planned. Okay uh, Move your cube rotate it do whatever you want uh, enter edit mode and subdivide it once or twice I use twice because my CPU supports that much okay you can subdivide it three times whatever you want but for this uh, for this basic thing I subdivide it twice okay uh, go into physics tab or press F7 twice and uh, select soft body remove use goal in here you don't need that for this jello okay uh, select the plane now uh, go into soft body collision you know the second tab and select deflection check everything is okay um, not that you possibly know but anyway I, I mean I think you don't know uh, now select the cube and uh, in the same tab you have self collision if you think your CPU is up to it uh, enable it if not Mm, better don't okay okay so now we will go into a preview press alt and a boing it looks uh, it looks like a fluid simulation so here's what I'll do you see down rigidity it's down to zero hell nothing is that rigid you know let's set it to about point thirty eight okay again alt a and it kind of is a soft body not a fluid anymore but it isn't solid in any way okay uh, here you have edge stiffness better not uh, use it as to it may slow down harshly everything you do uh, we have stiff quads edges and faces I suggest you don't do it this time, okay? It really slows down. Uh, look, the guys at Blender say on the face colliding, it is too slow, okay? So, better don't. Uh, increase the rigidity a bit, okay? 0.62, test it again. And we possibly have a winner. Being that I never saw jelly jello in my life, I'd say that pretty much looks like what I imagine. Okay. Uh, now that you have it, okay. Uh, you can go into editing and set smooth. Again, press Alt A, and this time it's a smooth cube. Okay. Now subsurf it, but a uh, very important thing: do not apply it. Applying it will uh, harshly slow down your effort and, again, very nasty. Uh, select render levels. This is what counts when you render, not the levels. Okay. Check it again. It looks pretty good, but I want more subdividing. Okay, I go into edit mode and press shift E to crease to look like a cube not a sphere now again alt a eh, that's more like it hmm, no penetration pretty interesting okay again physics tab and now uh, once you checked everything is okay bake settings select that and uh, before that you must uh, know what frame you want as the end again alt a I'll set it about f 100 and okay interval very important thing set it to 1 in your complex things you know simulations uh, as to doing it by 10 uh, you'll realize is not the same okay uh, local or not local I don't know it's been such a, an interesting thing in 244 it hasn't done anything let's go in two four five it does something okay so now let's go into wireframe look 
it looks great. Remember the um, three jellies hitting the laser floor video? Yeah, that's mine. That's how I did it. Okay, so now you have your own jelly. Very important, and listen up this time. Okay, don't just ignore it. Never go into edit mode once you baked your um, your soft bodies. This will erase any bake. Okay, so do not do this. Okay, don't do don't do this. Okay, you may not realize anything from this, but when you exit, you see oops, erased bake soft body. Now you have to bake it all over again. Okay, so don't do that. Good, good. Oh, which means I have to do it as well. Pretty nasty. Well, next time try undo. Maybe it will do you some good. Okay, now as to mater materials. Blender uh, doesn't use much um, physics card, okay? So things may be sticking out when you try liquid simulations or something like this, okay? Fluids. But this time it doesn't, so I'll go with the material straight ahead. I'll make it... Th yeah, purple, that's very boyish, okay? No insult. Let's go into my favorite color, 00CFFF. -F. That's a very interesting Cyan. Okay, uh, ray transparency, set depth 5, index of refraction or IOR jelly 1.56, okay, and alpha 0.4, okay, let's have a preview, mm, good, but I can do better than that, okay, now, how much time do I have? Uh, I'd say about enough. So, now that you've seen how to do it, uh, you can skip this part if you want. Go into shaders, specularity, increase it. I like that. Select transparent shadow. On the plane, add new material. Transparent shadow, specularity 0.1. Okay. Color full white. And now select your lamp, make it spot and buffered shadow. This will make a um, much nicer shadow, okay? Not like area, but still, it's good. Uh, setting the, the degrees. Let's have a preview. Much better, but as you can see, uh, there isn't much blue in here. In fact, there's no color. Okay. Uh, this one's too brighter, I guess. Yep. Damn well bright. Not good. Okay. Uh, here's a trick. This is the first time it doesn't work. Hmm. Pretty nasty. Okay. Let's see now. Damn it. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. Yep, there you have it your own colored shadow. Uh, note to myself. Note to self. When trying buffered shadows, do not apply any transparent material, as to it might not get transparent at all. Okay? Uh, that means doing things live, okay? No editing, no nothing. Uh, so, but that's about it for now. Of course, adding bloom as usual. Oh, come on. Huh. Damn. Okay. Uh, glow. I call it bloom because in every game you see bloom, not glow. Okay. So that's it. Uh, David Chen over and out.
See you next time.